Now this shrub is called the New Zealand Wineberry or Māori name of Tutu T-U-T-U -T -U. Um, grows in moist soil and it's actually growing in a swampy ground down here um, it's, it's poisonous all parts of the plant are, are toxic except for the flower petals this one is developing flowers now they'll form on these hanging panicles now this is one fern I haven't come across before it's a native it's commonly known as sweet fern um, I don't know the Maori name for it I'll have to look it up somewhere. But difficult to get a good picture because it's tucked under the boardwalk here. <laughs> uh, this is a smaller specimen of Puta Puta Weta, also known as a bucket of water tree for some strange reason. <laughs> Very popular um, in domestic gardens but it can go, kind of grow out of control. Um, the wetter in the name is because in the mature trees uh, our native wetter or flightless cricket uh, make their homes in the trees. It's a bit unfortunate that um, common blackberry have gotten a foothold here in the reserve. It'll be almost impossible to eradicate. Um, but there will be berries to pick. If I remember rightly about February. So there's the first flowers. Yeah, it's, it's growing all through the native plants. Not sure the name of this fungus. Pretty car. I'll look it up later on. Okay, I've checked out these fungi, they are related to elf cups, ELF cups. Um, true elf cups are cup shaped, unlike these which are round, but they are closely related. I won't try and pronounce the scientific name. <laughs> couple more fungi here. Um, these are oyster mushrooms but they are not necessarily the same oyster mushrooms you can buy in the store. Um, these may just be look-alikes and could well be uh, poisonous so quite pretty though in their own way. This may be an older one, I think. Here's a magnificent colony of fungi. Um, again, I wouldn't pronounce the uh, scientific names for these things. 
Brittle stem seems to be the closest common name. That's pretty amazing. Uh, these are growing on the trunk of the Hino tree that I videoed a while back with all the lumps and nodules growing on the sides of it. Another fungus with a hard to pronounce name, uh, but one of the common names is Elfin Saddle. S-A-D-D-L-E. So obviously there must be elves around in the bush here. <laughs> we've got elfin saddles and we've got elf's cups so far. Now these fungi are a bit less spectacular, but um, they've got a gazillion names, <laughs> common names, including, where are they, toothed crust fungi, marshmallow polypore, wrinkle crust, wood rot, <laughs> greasy bracket, scarlet wax crust, Jelly rot fungus and white rot fungus. So take your pick. <laughs> uh, this is native Daphne, which I've videoed before, but this time when I've had a look at the plants more closely, they seem to be about to start flowering. I think these are flowers on the stems, so I'll keep an eye on those, come back again in the next As I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by the GoPro battery going flat, <laughs> I'll come back again in the near future and check the progress of these flowers Oops, on the wild Daphne. I'm intrigued. Uh, these are another variety of elf cups. These ones are white, not the red like the last ones we looked at. The scientific names of these things are unpronounceable to me, by me. <laughs> And I couldn't find any common names for them anywhere, so there you go. A few here with the more characteristic mushroom shapes.
getting later in the afternoon now. Um, what is it? Just after 4 p.m. and the mozzies are coming out in force. So. They'll be after my blood. I'm just at the bottom end of the track. Um, and I came across this bright, bright red butterfly. Unfortunately, it disappeared into the bracken here before I could get a, get it on video. I've lost it now. But I remember what it looked like, so I'm going to look it up. See if I can find a picture online. Oh, that's disappointing. There's the lake. So I'll turn around and head back. Just keeping an eye out for that butterfly. <laughs> I think it's long gone. Oh well. 